Chairman, we have with us a letter of excuse coming from uh, the lawyer of lawyers of Mr. Police Colonel Guijardo. And once again, uh, attached is a medical request from his uh, doctor, a certain Dr. Montenegro, for a request for to admit uh, Colonel Grijaldo. But uh, just to inform everyone, this is now the third time that uh, Colonel Grijaldo was absent and he sent us three excuse letters with the same reason, medical, Mr. Chairman. And with that, Mr. Chairman, to expedite uh, this, uh, the, the discussion, may I respectfully move, Mr. Chairman, that we... Mr. Chair, uh, before you move, finished. Mr. Chair, wait, wait, wait. if I may. Wait, uh... Um, bahala kayo, Mr. Chairman, bahala kayo kung i-approve niyo yung motion ko, o hindi. Uh, diba? <laughs> now, one minute suspension. Or before, before... Hearing is resumed. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, thank you. Uh, with the indulgence of uh, the Honorable Chairman Dan Fernandez. Mr. Chairman, uh, with these uh, three letters sent to us, it's all about medical, uh, with the touch medical request and certificate. May I respectfully move, Mr. Chairman, that we will direct our uh, medical officer in the House to check personally the status of uh, Colonel Grijaldo, with regards to his medical condition, Mr. Chairman. Second, Mr. Chair. Okay, there is a motion. Uh, before the Chair rules on the motion, uh, Congressman uh, Fernandez is uh, uh, manifesting yeah. that he be recognized. Yes, is thank that, you, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman. So before we finally uh, rule on this motion, so is this an amendment to, your, to the motion? No, 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 no. I just wanted to manifest something. Uh, Mr. Chairman, as much as I wanted to uh, inhibit myself uh, on the uh, discussion about this uh, Colonel uh, Grijaldo, um, uh, medyo nakakapiko na po, Mr. Chairman. Eh. Uh, his continued um, absence, you know, in this uh, committee hearing in the pretext of uh, medical excuses are not uh, acceptable. Uh, he wants to run. no? He wants to run. Running away from his responsibility and mentioning the name of this uh, representation. He tainted the image of this representation, not only of this representation, but the whole of the Quadcom. Now, Mr. Chairman, Medyo hindi ko po matatanggap yung uh, excuses na medical services. As a matter of fact, Mr. Chairman, kung titignan mo itong kanyang excuse that written by his lawyer, kaya hindi po siya nakapunta rito because he was still in the hospital. Mula nung November 13 hanggang ngayon, nasa hospital pa rin siya. And he wanted to get a clearance prior to his surgical operation dahil meron daw po siyang rotator cups syndrome that can be treated through rest, sling, and anti-inflammatory medications. Surely, he wanted to evade this hearing. Ayaw niyang panindigan yung mga sinabi niya doon sa affidavit niya sa Senado. In the previous hearing, Mr. Chairman, we manifested, di ba, na we will be um, relinquish our chairmanship on the issue of Colonel Grijaldo. Pero hanggang ngayon, inaantay po natin siya dito. And if I may, Mr. Chairman, if I may, I just wanted to, to ask kung andito po yung uh, pihaw sa PNP na kung saan doon under preventive suspension si Colonel Grijaldo. May we ask, Mr. Chairman, kung uh, nagre-report si Colonel Grijaldo sa Pihaw? 
Is there a representative from Pihau? Uh, Ayoko na po sana ngang magtanong tungkol dito. But, uh, Mr. Chairman, the last time that uh, he appeared in this Congress was more than a month already. And it's taking too long, no? Because he said something against this committee, against this person. And that's the reason we wanted to be cleared on the epidemic that he manifested in the Senate. Now, Mr. Chairman, andyan na ba? Uh, Pihao, please. Ah, Pihao, nandito ba ang taka-Pihao? Yeah, yeah. Uh, please take a seat. Para mabilis po tayo, please take a seat. Yung taka-Pihao. Ang Pihao po, for the uh, um, information of the body, sila po yung uh, uh, general, ako, uh, itong uh, custody, ng mga under preventive suspension ba ang, ano, ang pihaw? Uh, Mr. Chair, I think the uh, the representative of pihaw is present and he will be able to answer those questions. So, ano Kindly identify yourself. Uh, good morning, sirs. Police Brigadier General Constancio Chinay Jr., the uh, Acting Director of the Directorate for Personnel and Records Management. And under me is the uh, PIHAO, or Personnel Holding Chair, Administrative Unit, sir. I'd like to ask if he has taken his oath. This is my second time, sir, to appear, so I took my oath oh, the first time. What, what, what is the mandate of the PIHAO, uh, sir? It is, the, the PIHAO is the unit in uh, DPRM where personnel without any assignment are put into, sir. So, mula no November 13, nag... Uh, Nag-report na bubuwa sa inyo si uh, Kenel Grijaldo? He reported November 18, sir. November, November 18. November 18. Opo. Pero the procedure of the PIHAO is what? You have to report what, daily? Yes, sir. He, they should be physically accounted. Especially when uh, we were cautioned because uh, uh, there so, are... We, we were allowed then because of our policy that uh, we can account personnel online. But uh, since the last meeting that uh, uh, Honorable Akop uh, cautioned us, we required them, sir, to uh, really be present during accounting. So, kung hindi sila nagre-report, you consider them what? If he will not report, sir, then he will be subjected to pre-charge investigation. So, hindi siya nag-report sa inyo mula no November 13. And as a matter of fact, nag-report lang sila sa inyo nung uh, November uh, 18. Prior to November 18, sir, kasi uh, yun yung may excuse siya that he is in uh, hospital. Okay. Mr. Chair, I'd like to ask in relation to what uh, Congressman Dan Fernandez is saying. Uh... Ito bang si Grijaldo nag-report daily sa inyo because that is your uh, rule, di ba? Yes po, sir. And he didn't do it? Come, come again, sir. He did not do it? He reported po, sir. 18 to 20. 20. Daily? 22. Daily? Opo, sir. Opo, sir. Physical, report, uh, physical, face to face. Did he report? Yes, sir, Do because they are made to sign. Daily? Opo, sir. Okay, so, after... After that, he did not he did not report anymore, and he it was told that he's in the hospital, di ba? And, uh, if I may, uh, Congressman Nabante, no? so daily siya nagre-report mula noong November 18 hanggang ngayon. Nagre-report sa inyo daily? Uh, negative, sir. Uh, because November 18, he applied for leave. Five days mandatory and then uh, special privilege leave. The effectivity of the mandatory leave is November 25 to 29. At nailugtong doon, sir, yung special privilege leave, December 2 to 4. So he was Hello, officially, please, sir, uh, he is oh, on wait, leave. Wait, 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 wait. Any special privilege that was given to him? These are leaves uh, allowed that we can avail of, sir, for PNB personnel, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, yun yung special privilege. 
Opo Jero. Sige, uh, Congressman Mena. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. You know, I have I've always maintained my silence over the accusation of uh, <coughs> Colonel Grijaldo on this. Uh, because I do not anymore want to belabor what he said in the Senate. Because anyway, the people watching to us right now does not believe in his uh, lies to us. No, pero, pero the thing is, he must appear. He must appear here and uh, tell us about these accusations to us. Oh, kami naman. Uh, Mr. Chair, we are willing to inhibit ourselves uh, while he is here being asked by the Quadcom. Oh, oh. So, so I was, my name was one of those mentioned with Congressman Dan Fernandez that we pressured him to tell a lie. Oh, oh. And his lie is brazen, Mr. Uh, 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 Chairman. So, I'd like to find out what we're going to do with Colonel Grijaldo, realizing that he has not appeared here three times with the excuse that he has been in the hospital and confined, uh, Mr. Chair. Sa akin no, thank you, Mr. Uh, Colonel Grijaldo. Mr. No? Chairman. Uh, 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 let me uh, allow the chair first to rule on the motion the parliamentary status is that there is a motion that uh, the House physician be directed to call on and visit, no? visit uh, Colonel Grijaldo and uh, ensure that indeed, one, uh, he needed confinement in a hospital, two, that indeed he is suffering from a certain uh, medical condition. And uh, we direct that we will direct the house physician to ascertain this information. Now, before we rule, uh, I allowed the uh, chairman Fernandez to make a manifestation, and uh, Congressman Abante also made this manifestation. Now, I will recognize Congressman Flores for the amendment to the motion. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Chair, uh, I just would like to propose an amendment to the. Uh, motion of uh, Chairman Carabs, Mr. Chair, if we, he would uh, agree, Mr. Chair, that we ask the PNP to also send their doctor, Mr. Chair, because I believe that if Colonel Guijardo is incapacitated to appear before a committee hearing, then would he be in a physical capacity to serve as a colonel in the PNP? If that would prohibit him from uh, serving uh, in the PNP in that manner, Mr. Chair, then maybe uh, the PNP should also determine his physical fitness to continue serving uh, as an officer of the PNP, Mr. Chair. Okay, that's noted. The amendment is to include the Philippine National Police Doctors. Medical uh, Director to likewise uh, check on mm -hmm. Colonel Grijaldo. Yes, Mr. Chair. So, there's a motion as amended and uh, duly seconded. Are there any objections? Hearing none, the motion is carried. Comsec, please coordinate with the House physician. And the uh, Philippine National Police is directed to likewise ask the PNP doctor to check on Colonel Grijaldo. Mr. Chairman. Yes, uh, DS uh, JJ Suarez. Yes, can I just ask the um, good Colonel, Colonel, <coughs> Colonel, a uh, general, sorry. Um, nabanggit niyo po kanina na Personal pong pumunta si Colonel Grijaldo sa inyo para pumirma. Ano pong petsa nun? Uh, hindi naman po sa akin personal kasi may chief ng pihaw kay uh, Colonel Lacosta. Siya po ang uh, nagsusupervise doon sa checking ng kanilang attendance po. Anong date po yun? November 18 po, sir. November? 18. 18. So kung November, kung November 18 po yun, that would be around more or less a week or so ago. Tama? Yes po, sir. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, the reason why I asked is because dito po sa unang sulat nung kanyang abogado, ang sinabi po niya dito ay uh, naka-admit po siya sa ospital kung hindi po ako nagkakamali. 
um, and suffering from left shoulder dislocation, TC slap tear. And this was issued by the Pasig Doctors Medical Center on November 11. And we have received uh, another letter from their lawyer saying that Colonel Grijaldo is admitted at the Pasig Doctors Medical Center for the same for the same issue, left shoulder rotator cuff syndrome and slap tear. And this is the way and this is dated November twenty six. Um, Mr. Chair, para naman po napakahirap paniwalaan na kung rotator cuff issue lang po ito, bakit ang tagal niyo po sa ospital? At sa sobrang tagal niyo po sa ospital, may kakayahan po kayo pumunta sa PHAO para po personal na makapunta doon. Kaso lang, pagdating po sa hearing ng mga Quadcom, hindi po siya nakakadalo. So, I would wait for the report of our um, medical personnel as to the status of Colonel Grijaldo in Pasig Doctors Medical Center. And maybe once we find out the truth regarding Colonel Grijaldo, we can make the necessary motions. I just wanted to manifest that, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Okay, salamat po, uh, uh, the SJJ. Uh, Mr. Chair. We are, uh, the parliamentary status is that uh, we are in the process of uh, disposing of our admin matters. If this is in relation to that, uh, I would uh, beg the indulgence of, uh, of uh, Congressman Abante. Uh, this is in relation to uh, Colonel Grijaldo. Ah, okay, Mr. please I'll continue. I'd like to ask the Napolcom uh, uh, about uh, Colonel Grijaldo's attitude and absence because uh, it has been one month since he testified in the Senate about this. So, Napolcom, will please tell us. Mr. Chair, if the police officer is um, unable to perform his duties or, or he is um, not physically fit to perform his duties as a police officer, then uh, he may be um, filed a case for incompetence, Mr. Chair. Or otherwise, he may also voluntarily file for um, permanent physical disability if he would want to um, claim a pension by reason of his inability to perform his, uh, or physically, um, physically function as a police officer, Mr. Chair. You're saying that will come that uh, he can be uh, charged with incompetence, that's what you're saying? If he, is, um, if he is no longer able to perform physically his functions, Mr. Chair, then uh, that is a possible ground. He's trying to hide, Mr. Chair. He's trying to hide from this committee. Of course, uh, he cannot run uh, in this committee's investigation, even if he tried to hide. He might be even be watching and listening right now. We do not even know. So I would like to ask the NAPOLCOM to actually tell us the recommendation over the absence of Colonel Grijaldo, which is already one month since he made a statement in the Senate, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Abante. Now we proceed with the admin matters. Yes, Congressman Paduano. Uh, lastly, Mr. Chairman, with regards to Grijaldo, lang po. Uh, you mentioned about the, uh, the leave, no? official leave of Grijaldo that was, uh, it will start November 25 to December 4. Tama po, sir. Okay, so that will be nine days because of that special leave na apat. Ano tatlo? Two to four. Tama? Eight days po, sir. Eight days, okay. Now, please. General, mamaya na po yan. Please submit to this committee that official document that indeed you allow Colonel Grijardo to have an official leave for eight days. That's number one po. How about the previous? The previous... Uh, uh, medical certificates or medical uh, checkups that was made by Grialdo. Did he inform the police or the PIAO? Yes, Your Honor. You Thank have the documents for him yes, to re Honor. request letter? Wag niyong yan the data. Oh, please submit to this committee because as mentioned by Ch Chairman Abante, almost one month na po. 
Pag-i-submit niyo po. Then the motion that was made, amended motion by by Congressman Flores, yung medical officer po, dapat i-check siya. Kasi, Mr. Chairman, because of these three excuse letter, all, it's all about medical excuse. Mr. Chairman, if Colonel Grijaldo is making a mockery of this hearing and some police officers in collusion of Colonel Grijaldo, I will not hesitate to cite him in contempt in this committee and all those PNP officials involved to face cases. Doon po sa Napulcom. Kasi po, supposedly kayo po eh. One month Hinayaan yung ganito. Of course, he's not absent without leave. Pero dapat naman po, you help us. You help this committee. Tatlong hearing mula siya. Under pa sa pihaw. Thank you. Uh, I, hope, I hope you submit those documents today. General. If I may, sir. Yes. We are helping. We are helping. Sir, po, can you submit those documents I mentioned today? Yes, sir. We will submit. Or submit it today. Yes, sir. Please proceed. We are helping the uh, committee, sir, in this uh, endeavor. Actually, sir, uh, when you received the notice that there is a quad com hearing for today, I cancelled the leave for for November 27, just for this purpose, po, sir. You cancel what? The leave, po, sir. Your leave? No, sir. The leave of Colonel Grijaldo. Oh, so you can sell all the leaves? Only for this November 27, po. So, he's not on leave? He's not, sir, because he... Okay. He can, now, the, uh, General, you check. Because the latest excuse letter of Colonel Grijaldo is dated... is dated... November, I think November 23. Okay, November 26. But, that was three days ago. But, ah, yesterday. But, I thought, Jenna, please take note of this. But the date of the medical request of his doctor was dated 11-23-2024. Eh baka pati kayo, niloloko niyo na. Pakicheck lang po. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.